Peace. What's good, YouTube? Come on over. Why are you just like standing around just all randomly? Is it too bright? Yeah, but I'm gonna serve it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, welcome to the flagship. Um, about to give you guys a quick tour of our retail space. Uh, this is it here. Uh, we have this very interesting curvature rack that was built by our good friend Nelson. Uh, and this is just a cool way to display some of our product. Uh, very boutique, minimalistic. Um, yeah, with a more like DIY approach. So a lot of our products here. Let me show you guys actually some of my favorite. We've been developing a lot of stuff cut and sew, so everything fully from like the garment to the construction to the fit. Uh, th this is one of them that I really like. Uh, I think just the color selection for this spring summer, uh, I've been a, a big fan of, uh, and a lot of the washes. Uh, a lot of these colors are also inspired by some of the more industrial areas in Milwaukee. Um, that's where I, I draw a lot of my inspiration and stuff like that. Um, of course, this is our collaboration, official collaboration with Muhammad Ali Estate. Um, it's kind of like a big dream come true. Uh, we ended up doing four pieces. So uh, this is, of course, one of our like classic designs for our studios where we do half tones all the way to the bottom. So for the collab, I thought it'd be cool to just kind of bring this over to the brand side. Um, and then these two as well. Very simple, kind of tying Muhammad Ali's image to the unfinished legacy. Uh, and then the back is just unfinished legacy. Very simple. All these pieces are also like available online. Uh, I don't want to make this video about like selling the brand, more so just trying to show you guys our spaces. Uh, some are more interested in these um, mesh jerseys as well. These were all developed from blank, so we worked with the manufacturer to be able to uh, construct these, uh, dye the colors, and also do the screen printing. Um, and these are our most sought after pieces right now. So this portion is where we do our live screen printing every last Saturday of every month. Is this a really fun, cool way to engage and do something creative with the community? So, and this is where I started too. This is the first screen printing press that I have. I've had. Uh, took it to LA, brought it back, and it's such an important aspect of our brand DNA. how to approach this part. This chaotic area, this is my little personal space where I, I feel like I don't spend enough time here. Like I never feel like I spend enough time here, but it's where I have my book collection, my camera collections, um, a bunch of Polaroids um, and just everything objects that I that I like <laughs> there's really not much to say you know kind of this is this is me I'm chaotic I'm, I'm chaos my brain I like I like functioning in a chaotic place <sighs> one of my favorite formats to shoot is Polaroid and I have so many Polaroid photos uh, every time we have a homie visit. So yesterday we had homies from Hard Jewelry visit the store. So got to photograph them and then, you know, got their signatures and dates. That's something that I tend to try to just document uh, with all our spaces in LA. Like when homies visited this, the studio, I would photograph them and have them also date it. Just to, just to have it documented. Uh, but I have so much Polaroids. 
this whole thing is like filled with Polaroids. It's literally uh, a bunch of Polaroids. I just kind of need to organize them. But we're going to do a, a show here with all the Polaroids um, from all, all the years of running the brand. Some of these from our pop-ups. Um, some lookbook stuff in here as well. Some from ComplexCon. Um, yeah, I think it's just like a really cool way to document, like having the physical photograph rather than, you know, digital. Foldable. I have I have way too many books in this place, but some of my favorite one. Uh, this this one's really cool because it's literally just ran by one person. He makes these wrap teas, uh, kind of a documentation of uh, hip hop uh, t-shirts from you know. This one's from 1980 to 1999, and then this is the latest one from 1980 to 2005. Can you hear that? That's Luke. I'm gonna call him back. Maybe maybe I'll call him on my bike ride. He's gonna he's gonna be stoked. This is one of my favorite books by Virgil. If there's one book that I could carry with me at all times, it would be this one. It looks super funny. Yeah, this is. All right, so uh, right now we're in the inventory room where we have all of our inventory. Nice, concise, right in the back, uh, very accessible, but I'm pretty sure soon we will outgrow the space. That's the goal. Um, yeah, all, all our new inventory come back here and then we ship from back here as well. I gotta have these sticker packs with me at all times just to give it to people. My favorite sticker from this pack. Do you know which one it is? It's gonna be fuck one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Favorite sticker from the pack. Got the classic. <laughs> this whole episode is just me climbing stuff. Climbing ladder. Climbing this. Yeah, could you get this bathroom shot real quick? One of the first things you see when you walk into the space is, of course, this bike, Virgil, and the 94s. Um, for aesthetic, it looks, I think it visually looks cool, but I also need to use this bike more often, so I need to take it down. I'm gonna probably find another place to display the, the shoes. Um, but it's just a reminder of like, good designs could last forever. Uh, and the bike got it from my good friend, Peter. He actually gifted it to me. I traded him an, a, another different bike. So um, I think off of just that being a gift, I, I feel obligated to, to actually use it on a day-to-day -day basis rather than just having it stay up there. So I'm gonna take it down. Um, when I'm not biking, I'll probably put it back up, but for now, I plan on trying to bike on a daily basis, commuting to work and from work, so. Uh, it's a really light bike, too. A lot of people always ask me, like, how I got it up there and stuff. It's very, very light. Super light bike. I 
again the same thing about the plant i feel like this place feels empty without that bike and the shoes up there but for now you know we'll just leave it grab coffee and then hit the studio <laughs> car you guys get got stuck in traffic multiple times and i just fun fact our first website me and mike spent the whole day here working on it from like morning to like close time um it was like about like i don't know it was like 12 hours of just like non-stop working on the website Owning a piece of Milwaukee. That one's sick too. I like that one. Bing, 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 bing. I be trying to, I be trying to mentor you, bro. What are you talking about? Yes. Dude, these, these are so old. This is like the shape of a t-shirt. Like it's literally a T. Like. I have this book on the history of like t-shirts. T-shirts aren't even that old, to be honest. It's from like the 18, it was 18 something. Greens are like older designs, but we could, we'll probably reclaim these and reuse them for other projects down the line. Okay. Uh, could you help me clean this one real quick? Not fully, because I'm going to use the same color. But I might. You put white in here? Yeah. Uh, just the back, just so I could get, like, crispy detail. I, uh, I bought this vintage shirt not too long ago, so I'm going to print it. For a personal, personal piece. So I'm gonna just go crazy, to be honest, with this one. Yo, CJ, peep this. I feel like it's gonna collage really nicely. Wow. Like, look at detail. You do not have any garbage box. Say, so uh, nail it on this take, or you're going home. <laughs> 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 they can't be <laughs> 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 Dude, we, I mean, maybe, maybe end of next year. Dude, it's not, it's, it's not too far-fetched we're going to go overseas to see where the stuff's getting made. John would love to have us. He'd be like, come on over. Yeah, 
that's fine. Down. People be watching that, they be like, oh, God. One print at a time. <laughs> Say one step at a time. <laughs> <laughs> kids doing some grown people stuff there's a scene where they're playing chess there's another scene <laughs> I think I kind of want to print on the sleeves too <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even count, bro. You didn't. Cool. Do with the back too. Like the back just has red. Yeah, dude, this is this is a sick fucking. You made that in literally. <laughs> Jack corrupts the footage. That would be funny. That would be funny. All right, if you guys made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching all the way through. This is a little bit of a chaotic episode, but I hope you guys enjoyed or got some takeaways from this. Uh, comment anything below you found interesting or what we should do more of. Uh, again, thank you guys. Also, feel free to subscribe to this channel because we're going to be posting on a weekly basis. Thank you. Peace.